Look at me! I'm running away! Oh no! Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Sim Regulation <coughs> video bringing you Haxorus, baby! Not just a Haxorus, but a support Haxorus that is here to give us hacks. Yes! I made that joke really quick. Anyway, we have Haxorus with the Ghost Terror, with the Focus Sash, with the Dragon Cheer here to set up our whole team, essentially. We have the Dragonite with Scale Shot, with Loaded Dice, so that every single time you send off a Scale Shot, there's a chance, one in four chance, that it crits. That's always nice and dandy, not just that. We have Loaded Dice, so you at least hit four out of the five times. Also, Ogre Pond's here. Dragon Cheer boosts Ogre Pond's Ivy Cudgel to one-fourth times as well, because Ivy Cudgel already comes with a, um, a crit booster. So that's nice. Also, we have the Dragon type Golden Go. We can Dragon Terror our Golden Go, set up a nasty plot, uh, na nasty plot, and do some disgusting damage, right? We can give our opponents nasty clots in their blood. I don't, what? <laughs> we have Golden Go here doing Make It Rains, hurting some things. And then that's pretty much what Golden Go do. The rest of the team is super straightforward. We have Instant, we have Fluttermane. This is a Kurtastic team, by the way, but it's a Kurtastic collab with Crusadia, who is also on the Discord. So shout out to both of you guys. Thank you so much for always making some awesome teams. We played both of them individually on this channel before. So now that we kind of get a mismatch of like two different, you know, creators building teams. I'm excited. If you guys are excited to see Haxorus in action, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Oh wait, that's it. Let's get on to today's video. They got a Brute Bonnet, folks. Oh boy. Holy Trick Room Team? Trick Room Team, but your only setter is Fluttermane? Okay. I'm a little scared. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm a little terrified. But I'll tell you what. If your only setter is Fluttermane, I'm gonna lead these two goonies. I'm definitely gonna want some form of priority here, so I'm also gonna bring my Dragonite. Should maybe hold off on the instant, but. It also wouldn't be a horrible option. I'll bring the Ogre Pond in the back. Just to give me that grass type to deal with the spore coming out of that brute bonnet. I also have to be very careful with my golden go. There's so many Pokemon in that team that get sucker punch. So I might just have to burn Terra on Golden Go, if anything. Just fully commit to the Golden Go Terra. Alright, colorful outfit, what you got? Double sucker punch lead. Yeah, we gotta commit. Yeah, we Dragon Terror Nasty Plot. Dragon Cheer. And then we'll do damage next turn. If they Terrastalize their King Gamma, they do me a favor here. But I have a feeling that's not what they're gonna do. They gotta be planning something. What are they planning here, dude? Whatever it is, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't think so. All right, let's try to get this Dragon Cheer plus two crit with a plus two special attack. We're doing it right away. Not wasting any time, folks. Keeping it simple. Keeping it stupid. And you're going to bed. All right, that's fine. What does the King Gambit do, though? It's not Sucker Punching. It's Kowtow Kaleaving. All right, that hurt. Don't get me wrong. That definitely does hurt. That hurts a lot, actually. I might even double protect just for some more lefties recovery. All right, now that my Haxorus is asleep, it's kind of dead weight. So I think I'm hard swapping into my D Knight here. Who at least does have Stomping Tantrum. Haxorus, thanks for coming, pal. Yeah, did it. Just set up a dragon cheer for the actual Pokemon. It's all good. It's still Haxorus, though. 
How does Moldbreaker work with Defiant? Like, if I Breaking Swipe right now, will it still give him Defiant? I think the answer to that question is yes, but my answer to that answer is why. I feel like it shouldn't. All right, protecting it up. Give me some more lefties, please. They're gonna sucker punch me. Oh, they're gonna crunch me. Oh, they're hungry. Do they not have sucker punch? Because why would you have both? Oh, they're trying to do damage, like a severe damage, like the most damage ever to my golden go right now. Well, that was the freest swap of my life, so that's good news. All right, at this point, yeah, it's time. Make it rain. Stomping tantrum. I'm going right for it. No sucker punches to be seen. Unfortunately, Amoongus is going to live, though. Not Amoongus. Brubonnet. Double crits, though. I'll take that. And you? Goodbye. Where's the sucker punches at, dude? Rocky, what? <laughs> oh. Okay. Unfortunately, there goes the D-Knight to sleep now. Brubonnet still being a Brubonnet right about now. That's the unfortunate thing. But hey, lefty's recovery. Sure. Give me more. Don't mind. Not a single bit. Problem is, do they have a Flutter main? They did have a Flutter main. If they go into Flutter main, I might just lose. Because <laughs> I have three dragon types available right now. And the majority of them are asleep. <laughs> oh, that's not a Flutter. Good news for me, I'm going to make it rain again. I guess I should protect first. Um, and like low-key, this is me sacking off a Dragonite. So, best of luck, Dragonite. I'm protecting just in case they Blood Moon first. But it looks like they just brought the slowest Pokemon they have available to them. That is the vibe that I'm currently getting right now. Anything that has a base speed of less than 50, they brought. That's a lot. Less than 60. All right. Protecting again with Golden Go. Dragonite's still fast asleep. It's okay. He's a little sleepy today. A little tired. Sunny, what? What is happening? <laughs> Special defense raise? That's why you lived it. You had the one thing that helped you. A lot of special defense. All right, D-Knight's still hanging on. That's nice. Good job, D-Knight. I'm still plus one, and I think I'm still going to make it rain again. Make it rain one more time. Let's see if we can get, we can get the wake here, too, with the C-Speed. Just get rid of the brute bond if we can. This also helps in case they have rage powder, which I don't think they do at this point. Yeah, I doubt. Make it rain again. Straight one shot the blurs, baby. Getting crits like it's no one's business. Plus two critical hit chance is a lot. You don't even need. It's, what is that? One in four, right? This goes from 16 to eighth to one in four. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get out of here! <laughs> oh, interesting! Okay, I don't know how much Haxorus did, that's a lie, I know exactly how much Haxorus did. Haxorus clicked one button and it finished its job. I can get behind this! I can definitely get behind this, on to the next! Double Genies and Ogre Pawn. Also, hi Brian Hands! How you doing? Doing good? Now, they got, they got Tailwind against us, which is a little unfortunate. There's not much that we can do about it, except maybe bring Flutterman and click Icy Wind a couple times. And then just eventually be faster. Let's go Flutterman plus Ogre Pond in the lead. And I actually want to bring my Haxorus in the back here. I'm going to call it a Baxorus with a uh, Dragonite for the late game. Very different arrangement than we're used to doing, that we're used to playing with, but I like it. I think it's gonna be pretty decent. 
The Fluttermane lead is the fastest thing that I have against their side of the field. It also does threaten the Urshifu if they decide to leave the Urshifu. Threatens the Iron Hands if they decide to leave with the Iron Hands. Doesn't threaten the Ogre Pond whatsoever, so I hope they don't decide to leave with that. But you know what does threaten the, the Ogre Pond? My Ogre Pond. Now, the next thing on my mind is... I might be forced to terrestrialize my Ogre Pond um, this game, this turn, first turn. For the simple fact that... Their land race is a Pokemon that has poison moves. It looks like I'm gonna need some special defense here. Okay, decent turn one, I think. All right, I think we can. I, can, I think we can deal with all this. In fact, I'm gonna start off by just hitting Icy Wind. And then Ivy cudgeling the Tornadus. Tornadus can't go for a Bleak Wind Storm unless it fakes out my Ogre Pond, that is. The reason why Tornadus can't go for a Bleak Wind Storm is because they have the Tailwind first. I also wasn't even paying attention to what speed or what, what kind of uh, booster my Flutter was. They're actually swapping out the Iron Hand, so that means no fake out coming out of that slot. Into their own Fluttermane. I don't mind this. What booster are they? Also, speed, maybe? I don't- I still don't know what mine was. Oh, Icy Wind! They're giving me their Torn! Give it to me. They're giving me Torn?! Thank you! Why would you do that?! I'm not complaining. I'll take that and I'll run with it. Woo! <laughs> Look at me! I'm running away! Oh no! Why would you do that? Alright. I don't mind. Not a single bit. Icy win. I have cut any mini mini mo at this point. Actually. I picked that one. <laughs> I picked Flutter main. The Icy Wind on Flutter is really putting in work right now, okay. They're gonna be forced to burn Terra. Or else, yeah, they just take so much damage. Steel! That's not poison. Does that mean they have, like, Terra Blast instead? It might mean that. Well, I'm also going to Terrastalize this turn. Look at me, I am Big Mask. Let's see if we can knock a Flutter for free. Yeah, it looks like we are. Beautiful. Slow it down! Should have set up Tailwind, Tom. Ivy Cudge on the Flut. Bye-bye! Have a great night! See you next year! Actually, I'll probably see you next game with how frequent you are as a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, they do have Terra Blast. Okay, well, <laughs> bye, Fluttermane. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we hang on. All right, good news is we don't have to click um, the fun button anymore. Icy Wind. We can just hit Moonblast now. They can't Terrastalize. They can't run. I'm gonna hit Spiky Shield so I don't get a uh, fake out of this turn. And also, it'll hurt the Iron Hands' hands. Spiky? Fake out? Nope. Not today. And free old Moonblast. Decent damage, definitely a Salt Vested there. They switch over to Sandseer this time, okay. So, do we dodge? Nah, it's fine. We don't have to dodge there. Because you know what we can do now? Is so we can actually Dragon Cheer the Ivy Cudgel. <laughs> hey, it's a Haxorus. Look at the sparkle. All right, Dragon Cheer. Cudgel. Keeping it simple, keeping it stupid. That's fine too. 
The dragon cheer helps the cudgel since the cudgel's high crit ratio to go from one eighth to one fourth. So it's essentially like we have a free dragon type on the field without having to sacrifice the dragon typing on the field. Bop! Bye. All right, now that the landers is the slowest thing in the game, it looks like it's going to be a good day. We'll keep it simple. Let's go for Iron Head just for a potential flinch here. Just in case. And then an Ivy Cudgel crit to end the game. This team's going good so far, guys. Iron Head. Eh. Yeah, Axaris. Woo. And then Ivy Cudgel time. Boing, boing, bop. Is it the crit? Doesn't matter, but is it? Did my Haxorus help a little bit? Probably not. <laughs> it's fine, it helped in spirit. Defeated, NK. Gee, geez, listen. Team's doing good so far. Not too shabby, on to the next. Chill with the Golden Go also. Except they have Tailwind on their side of the field. That's a little spooky. That's a lot spooky, but no flutter main. So what reason do I have not to go Haxorus plus Dragonite right away and just start e-speeding things with critical e-speeds? I think I don't have not a single not reason to not do that. Could also just start scale shotting some things. Flutter main's a vibe. Not this one, no shadow ball. Okay, yeah, Golden Go is a vibe. <laughs> Golden Go, and then who should my last Pokemon be? I like an Ogre Pond, but I do see the merit of bringing an Ensign here. Especially against Golden Go, but I'm just gonna have the Golden Go be Golden Go situation, which the better Golden Go wins in that matchup. Let's figure this one out. Super excited to see if we can do the same thing that we did last time. This time. Excuse me while I still wake up. Good luck, have fun, Skio. All right, nice hat. I believe that's what we call a beret in the industry. Interesting. But not meta breaking, I don't think. I'm gonna drag and cheer. I'm gonna scale shot the Ursh. I'm gonna call it a day there. I don't think the Ursh can one shot either one of my Pokemon. Let's do it. I'm gonna scale shot because I think that is enough to knock the Ursh, especially if I have a high critical hit chance. And it'll break through any potential sashes that it has. And. I can start e-speeding some things next turn after I receive my beautiful Dragon Cheer. What, a, what an interesting way to try to buff Dragon types. Like, I can so appreciate that game freak. Okay, they Tailwind, which means nothing's getting one shot here. Oh, especially not a Focus Sash Pokemon. Oh, especially not even going to Focus Sash. Dragon Cheer! Woo! Go Dragon Knight, you did it! Yay! Get ready! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> well, now what? Like, <laughs> now, What do I actually do now? There's no way they let me do that again. Oh boy. I'm just gonna start e-speeding now. Uh, screw scale shot, forget scale shot. Don't even want it. Don't even want a single scale shot. Okay, now they're angry. I just scared them and now they're angry. Oh God. I need like a super omega e-speed critical hit here. Cause like, Ah, oh, man, eliminating this Urshifu that turn would have been actually the best thing.
All right, wish me luck. <laughs> and I don't even get a crit on a one in four chance. So stupid. So sad. Oh, I'm close. <laughs> I don't think I win anymore. Like I legitimately, okay, all jokes aside, all kidding aside, all like man-child memes aside, I, I think I actually just lose though. Like that, that miss kind of cost me. Cause there's nothing left for me here. Wow. Yeah, like what, what do I do? I can maybe redirect for a turn. In fact, I have to redirect for this turn. I hope a Mega Rain is enough to knock the Urshifu, and then I still have the Nasty Plot the following turn. Yeah, I don't know. There's too many. There's too many factors for me to like. Still have a chance here. I don't know. That opponent better pray to whatever god they believe in. Go play a lottery or something. Cause whoever whoever it is, they're on their side. <laughs> Alright. Urshifu's finally doing the thing it should have done turn one. I still have an Ogre Pond around. Unfortunately, they still also have Tailwind around, so. Still not looking promising. Especially not now. Alright, I got a spiky shield. I gotta protect. I might as well try to win this, I guess. I can now protect if their gold if their Urshifu's gone. It allows me to use a move that I have. Also protecting the torrent, okay. I wonder why they're so scared of Torn. Is this like an everyone protects turn? Okay, they just click make it rain. Um Tailwind's still up. Okay, I have one win condition. And it's very unlikely. Oh no, Tailwind's gone. Okay, yeah. I definitely have one win, win condition, and it's very unlikely. I have to get another spiky shield up. And then I have to crit Shadow Ball Gold and go. <laughs> and even then... Oh, they're swapping, actually. Why are they playing with their food right now? Into NC? Yeah, they're just playing with their... They're just playing with me now. Stop it. Just win. Not when I could have attacked the Tornadoes there and stopped them from saying Trick Room and actually had a decent chance. But it's fine. They're just playing with their food now. And honestly, looking at what their, the rest of their team was... I think I could have won. But you know what? Fine. Fine, Shkio. You go ahead. You have yourself a great old rest of your day. And you pretend like you deserve this win. GG's. On to the next. I'm not ending on that one. <laughs> Lil Rasta Pasta over here. Okay. Well, you got yourself a team, Lil Rasta. I don't know how good your next album's gonna be, but... Your team's looking pretty darn decent. Um... What am I doing against Flutter? It's almost like bringing three dragon types, or I guess two dragon types and one Terra dragon against Flutter. <laughs> Isn't that easy? Against Flutter, <laughs> Chen Pao is also not that easy. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I anticipated. But tell you what, I think I'm gonna go Flutter lead. I'm gonna go Flutter Ogre Pond just because that's the most aggressive lead that I could possibly do. And it's my best way to deal with their, um, I guess I could hold the I could hold the, the the ogre pond here. What if I just go flutter Haxorus? 
Flutter Haxorus, bring the Ogre Pond in the back, maybe? And then how do I get rid of Raging Bolt? That sure is a question that I have. But not so much an answer that I have. <laughs> if I bring Dragonite, I pretty much have to normal tear it. But that's fine. Let me let me rock the Dragonite. I'll bring the Dragonite to this matchup. I'll see if that is the answer to all of our sins. Prayers? <laughs> Opposite. And if it's not, oh well. Lil Rasta, you could have tried a little bit harder on your trainer card. If your next album is as bland as your trainer card, I don't think I'm going to listen to it. Ensign plus Raging Bolt's going to be their lead here. Okay. Kind of expected the Ensign. I could hit Icy Wind or I could just not care and hurt them. There's two options that I have here. Could even double protect if I want. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. I think I lose nothing by just moon blasting this Raging Bolt slot. I wonder if I should Dragon Cheer here right now. How about I just protect? Let's keep it simple. Let's not overthink. Let's just protect and move on. I think they definitely want to go for... Great, I got that Terra Burnt already. That's all I wanted. Because now I can Ivy Cudgel it later. I got a lot more options now than I did before. And a Moonblast is still going to do a decent chunk, I hope. Alright, there's the Fake Out. That's why we protect, folks! They're afraid of the Earthquake. That's another thing that they should be afraid of. Big ol' Moonblast onto the Raging Bolt. Gonna chip it. And a special attack drop. Huge. They just T-Bolt us back. That's fine. Oh, we ate that. Oh, we ate that, ate that. All right. I think I swap in my Ogre Pond now. And I get this Dragon Cheer going. Hopefully they don't T-Bolt me again, but if they do, I should live it. I want to make sure I save my Flutter for the late game. You never know when you're going to need the speed control. Especially when I'm Icy Wind and they have a Landorus on their team. I'm only 68 speed though. 68 speed plus Timid, so the booster energy helps. Alright, we got a Dragon Chair on our Ogre Pond. As they Dragon Pulse us. Very, very good. Not great for Haxorus, but hey, Sash. The Instant Swag in a Parting Shot. Oh no, they just Flare Blitz, okay. Yikes, okay. That hurt me more than I wanted it to. I think I Specky Shield for now and just go for the Iron Head on the Raging Bolt. I highly doubt they go for a thunderclap onto my raging bolt here. Cause like what purpose would they have to do that? Not my raging bolt, um, my Haxorus. Like what, they have no no need. Haxorus does not pose a threat for them right now. All they saw was dragon cheer and protect thus far. So let's spiky shield and iron head real quick. Got him, nice. Let's see some damage. Okay, I'll take it. Nice little bit of chip there, and then there's the knockoff. All right. Now at least this turn. They got a little to worry about, right? Do we think they're AV? I'm gonna go Flutter for now. I think if I Terra Fairy Moonblast, that should be enough to knock the Raging Bolt. I kind of want to go for the follow me just in case they they click uh, thunderclap again. But I also have to end up living another flare blitz, which I think I could do. 
which essentially means that I uh, went for Dragon Cheer for absolutely no reason because I haven't been able to attack yet. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, attacking isn't my strong suit, I guess. All right, they're at least thinking about this turn a little bit longer than I am. Time to Fairy Terror, folks! And hopefully knock out our first Pokemon this game. We've been here a while trying to do so. Unfortunately. We've had a couple of swaps in and out, too. Let's follow me. There's a Thunderclap. Not today, though. Not today. Big ol' Moonblast. Let's see some damage. Nice. It's enough. Okay, Raging Bolt's gone. I'm probably going to take a lot of damage from a Flare Blitz in about two seconds, though. Yep. We're living, though. That's all we need. All right. We're hanging on. That's another follow me turn. That's even another Ivy Cudgel turn. If we want to do that. But who do they go in with? That's the next question, though. If it's Flutter Main, I might be in trouble. Landorus. We don't love it. We do not love it. Should I greet a little bit? I kind of want to. But I know I'm not faster. Maybe I spiky shield first and then just try to icy win first to slow them down a little bit. All right, there's my spiky shield. Do they? It looks like they're not protecting, which is good news. Oh, I'm faster. I'm faster. Unless we're, unless we're speed tying, I'm faster. Hopefully I don't lose my flutter for no reason. My protect win first. Uh, that must be a very slow Landorus then. All right, knock off into nobody. Perfect turn for me. I got a lot of information this turn. That's information they even didn't get. All right, beautiful. Ivy Cudgel, get out of here. And Moon Blast. Woo! Lost for speed time, which would be so sad right about now. They must be a modest, a modest Landorus. Hey, listen, all power to you. I do not mind whatsoever. It's time for a big ol' Ivy Cudgel, baby. And this is why it's nice paying attention in between the turns. Even though nothing turns, sometimes there's something you can learn. It's gonna be my next shirt. Moon Blast time! Let's see some damage. Nice. Nearly knocking the Ensign. Big ol' special attack drop. Now, Ivy Cudgel should go next, unless we're speed tying. Please. Yeah, baby! Bop! Bye bye! <laughs> Woo! Nice little crit there, too. Do not mine. Now they gotta choose. Do they knock the flutter? Oh, they knock themselves. Okay, they are knocking my flutter, but they're knocking their instant out, too. They're down to one Pokemon left. And if it's Fluttermane, I'm screwed. Oh, they're not knocking themselves out. Never mind. Yeah, if it's Fluttermain, I'm really screwed. Please don't be. I'm still not in a great spot. <laughs> Dang it, this sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use a big brain. Wish me luck. I gotta protect. I need them to ice spinner into my Dragonite right now. Yeah! Woo! Ha ha ha! Gaming. We are gaming, folks! Because now, a double E speed should be enough to knock them out. I can only hope. They got choices to make now.
Ivy Cudgel. E speed. I need E speed to do at least 50. Wish me luck. <laughs> or I need a protector. Dang it, that's not 50. Oh, they chose the wrong target though. Beautiful. I could have protected with that spiky shield. I didn't do it. Thank God I didn't do it. I made the right amount of read at the right amount of time. Ivy Cudgel onto the Chen Fao, baby. Sayonara, maybe next year ending it off with a critical hit two. Little Ross, I was just kidding. I'm sure your next album is going to do great. It's going to be the best album that we've ever heard this generation. Mr. Cartastic and Crusadia. Y'all got y'all selves a team, folks. I had a lot of fun with that team, actually. If you guys want to go ahead and try to crit everything that you see one fourth of the time, go ahead and play this team. It's a lot of fun. You know, Kurtastic always delivers. This time, bringing his buddy Crusadia to the to the to the big screen. No, we played Crusadia teams before. I like the collab. It's a cool collab. It's a cool team. Are there other Dragon Chair users that aren't Haxorus? Sure. But I've probably used them all already, so they ran out of choices. Anyway, have yourselves a fabulous rest of your evening. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. Remember, if you want some Pokesports merch, good luck, have fun. And even a Fue Coco skeleton hat. Got a lot of other stuff, too. I usually have a mug with me. But I don't anymore. It's somewhere else. But you can find a mug at our merch store, Pokesports.info, in your address bar. Also, remember, if you guys want to go ahead and submit a team to be here on Pokesports... Join Discord. Anyway, I'm Kevin Sports. Have yourselves a fabulous rest of your day. Peace out. Bye-bye.